Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a quick booth refresh. We're gonna shop the antique mall where I have my booth and I wanna give a huge thank you to Artificial Merch for sponsoring today's video. Artificial Merch has a large variety of beautiful florals that look so realistic. Be sure to hop over to the website. I will link everything down in the description box below if you're looking for some beautiful, realistic floral. I picked up these white tulips and I've been using them to stage in my booth. The high-end look is totally taking my decor up a whole nother level. Last week I sold a big art stand easel type thing um, so I've got some items here on the ground and a big hole in my booth by my black and rust dresser. Everything else is looking okay just needs a quick spruce up. I did bring in a couple of new pieces so I'm going to show you how I get my booth refreshed. I begin by moving my black and rust dresser over into this vignette so I can start a new vignette up here in my front corner. I do keep lots of different colors in my booth so I like to do color blocking. Each little vignette has a certain theme and color scheme to it. I usually drop or break something every time I'm here. I'm just a little clumsy. So I brought in today this adorable little pink vanity chair. I painted it with the DIY cottage color in vintage pink. Distressed it a little bit and it came out so cute. I had found it by the side of the road. It was a free find. Now the chair next to it was also a curbside find. I asked over on Instagram whether I should chop it up or save it. Y'all said save it, so I did. Now I'm just going around and sprucing things up, maybe just moving and tweaking a few little items. Sometimes if things aren't selling, just moving them to a new spot will get new eyes on them and they will move quickly. Here is the front vignette I came up with. Now I went thrifting at the Giving Tree and found this really pretty faux copper bucket and look at those weathered handles. Does the wood just not match that chair perfectly? So I stuck it in the chair and now it is a beautiful planter chair. And guess what y'all? After I refreshed, I walked around, did a little bit of shopping, came back up front, my vanity seat and my planter chair sold over the phone because I did a quick tour on Facebook Live. Don't forget to market your booth, get those pictures, get those videos, and your things are going to sell a lot quicker. The new items got picked up on a Saturday. I came back in on a Tuesday when the antique mall was back open and here were my empty spots. I went ahead and filled it up again. I brought in some brand new items going for more of a French country, a fall vibe here in the front. Notice I grabbed my white tulips and put them in that vignette. They just go well with everything. I 
I figured I would take y'all on a little walkabout around our antique mall. This is the Owl's Nest here in Topeka, Kansas. This is the Adams location at 2901 Southeast Adams. So if y'all are ever in Topeka, be sure to come check me out. This is one of the vendors here in the front of the mall. They've got their Christmas stuff out. Look at all of these vintage Santas. I keep a close eye on this number 10 and 6 croc. They've taken the price down a little, but still too much for me. This booth I'm looking at right now always has some great crocs, and it's usually where I find my brass items. These were still a little high for resale. I've got a lot in my personal collection, so I passed today, but I always do like to look over here. How are these prices compared to the prices in your areas? I'm showing some of the tags. Drop me a comment down below. Is this kind of the same pricing you would find in your area? Or can you even find this kind of stuff where you live? These yardsticks were around three to four dollars a piece. Not a terrible price. I didn't pick any up today. I was just looking. This little booth is right behind the back side of my booth and she has the cutest hand painted items and always some adorable little animals. Look at these dogs. Another one of my favorite spots for wood and metal. That was a fun goose planter. I liked this copper pot, but the fruit on it uh, decided to pass. But there is a very cool brass spittoon here. I've got one like this at home. Mine's a little bit shinier yet. Prices are reasonable on this. And then this antique, is it a bed warmer? What did he call it? Yep, a bed warmer. This is super cool. How pretty would this look on hanging on a wall in like a French cottage themed bedroom? Y'all drop me a comment down below. Let me know if you want more tours of the antique mall. There's a ton of vendors here, so I could definitely get some great footage. Now, I almost bought this old hardware toolbox, but I just didn't need it. I'm trying to be a little pickier lately as I downsize my stash and my personal collection. That way I can go for a whole new look this fall and winter. Now, I think I probably should have grabbed this. I'm sad that I didn't. I might see if it's still there this week. It is um, an expandable ruler, but it's like yardstick style. It's very long, very unique. I've seen shorter ones, but never one that long. Love this old chicken crate. I could see that turned into like a coffee table. That'd be cool. This beautiful copper teapot. I like the porcelain handles on it for sure. And this is one of my favorite booths. This is Rosie's booth. She used to be my neighbor in one of my earlier spots here in the antique mall. She has got a beautiful eye for vintage items. She's more into the collectibles. You can see lots of dishes and books and stuff here. Her prices are always a little too high for me, but if you're into collecting instead of reselling, be sure to check out Rosie's booth. She's a super sweet lady as well.
this booth must be pretty new i don't remember seeing it before and y'all i am in love look at this chippy red metal look at these handmade boxes the signage seriously now this little cabinet was 32 dollars, which was kind of high but everything else in this booth was reasonable so when i'm in the market for wooden boxes crates totes i will be checking this space out again this drawer right here almost came home with me for seven dollars it was yellow and pink which just isn't quite what i need right now for fall <sighs> i'm sad i probably should have grabbed it but there will be more junk Check out all the vintage tins and enamel. Oof, this one was hard to walk away from. I saw several things in this booth I wanted, including this cabinet that was only $175. But I hope y'all enjoyed today's little booth refresh and tour of the antique mall. Like I said, if you did, please give this video a thumbs up and comment down below. Let me know that you enjoy this. And of course, if you haven't, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell next to it. YouTube will let you know every time I upload a new video. Checking out a last couple of booths here. This next clip is going to be my favorite find of the day, and it is the purchase I made as well. So look at these spools. Y'all, I wanted to bring all of them home, but I didn't. I picked out three. Can you guess which three I grabbed? Prices were pretty reasonable. I spent $18 on three spools, and I will be showing you soon in an upcoming video how I'm going to decorate with them for fall. Here are the three I picked out. I loved the chippy green paint and the remnants of thread left on this one. Till next time, see y'all later. Bye friends.